Yo, what's going on everybody? This is James here. Uh, today is February 23rd and my New Jersey Devils have just made a, uh, a big trade, big news coming out of New Jersey. Um, so I know I haven't made a video in a really long time. So just to give you guys a, um, an update, um, as you would probably know, the Devils, they um, weren't expected to make the playoffs year three of a rebuild and they started out out of the gate playing really well. Um, in October, they were playing amazing. And um, ever since then, they kind of have regressed a bit. They've kind of fizzled out, more or less. But um, they played maybe 500 hockey since, like, the new year, maybe a little bit below. But they are still in a good position to make the playoffs and end the five-year playoff drought. So um, with that in mind, Ray Shiro decided to, um, to buy at the deadline this year. And we made a trade with the Rangers for the first time ever. We traded a second round pick and defensive prospect Igor Rikoff to the Rangers in exchange for Michael Grabner. Um, so now to break this down, I'm actually not a big fan of this trade. I, um, I think that it's a little bit too early to be trading away picks and prospects at this point. I mean, we probably are going to make the playoffs, but... Are we really uh, a, a threat to win the cup this year? I, I still we're still two or three years away from doing that. Um, our defense really needs to improve, and um, I also I'm also not a big fan of trading with the Rangers because if Rikoff and that player that ends up um, the Rangers end up using the second round pick on, because I assume they're not going to trade it since they're probably going to be in a rebuild. If they end up being good players. This could really look bad for us in a few years because they're within the division and they're our biggest rivals. And Grabner is also on expiring contracts. So this could be, this is, may not even help them out beyond this year. Like this is a pure rental trait, rental player. Um, I, mean, I know the Devils could resign him in the off season, but um, still, he's he's at right now. Grabner is pretty much at the peak of his career, and. At 30 and from here he's only going to regress pretty much especially a player who relies on speed the way he does uh, once he gets past 30 he's not going to be able to blow past defenders the way he's been able to so far in his career uh, <clears throat> but I do think this trade will help the Devils out in the present um, because you know, Grabner is a very versatile player. He's able to play on the power play, the penalty kill. But no, he's not on the power play. I'm sorry. But he has <coughs> great speed. He can play in both zones. Um, he, he leads the Rangers in goals, I believe. He has like 25 this year. I think he had 27. Yeah, he, he had 40 points last year in 76 games. I mean, you can't complain about that. Um, and he, he, he contributed to, for them in the playoffs last year, too. Um, but I think, um, I also think Grabner fits into the type of style that John Hines wants to create. He wants the team to be fast attacking and supportive and Grabner certainly fits into that mold. So, um, I think that would be a good addition. And I mean, we'll probably put him on a line with either Zajac or, uh, Zaka. Um, I would say you probably could put him on a line with Wood if you want to against a really slow team, and that could give them a nightmare. Um, you could also move. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have my throat is tickling me a bit. You could also move Jesper Bratt down to like the third line, and um, Bratt's really been regressing a lot this year as the season has gone on. And I think the reason why is because of the fact that uh, the season over in Sweden. I don't remember the name of the league he was playing in before the NHL, but the the season over there is much shorter than over here, so I think Brat may be having a little bit of trouble adjusting to that. I heard um, Austin Matthews had some issues with that too last year. I, I, it supposedly happens with a lot of younger players. Um, you could also move guys like Stafford and Hayes um, out of the lineup too, who, let's be honest, haven't really been contributing at all this year. Um, now as, 
it, it could be possible that Grabner could go back to the Rangers in the offseason. He could resign with them. And that could look even worse for the Devils because, um, because you know, we traded away a second and a prospect and they got him back. But I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I'm not convinced about that. Because, I mean, Grabner's 30 years old now and he hasn't won a cup or anything like that. I don't, I don't even think he's been to the conference final. So is he really going to want to spend the rest of his career on a rebuilding team? Let's be honest. I don't think so. And the main reason why I think he would want to go back to the Rangers would be the fact that his he has he has a wife and he has kids. He's not he's not single. So he probably wouldn't want to uproot his family. But that's not even really that much of an issue because the Rangers and the Devils play like 25 minutes away. I believe if you, if you go on Google Maps, that's about the distance between Madison Square Garden and Prudential Center. It's right across the river. Um, so, I mean, he, he could literally stay in the same house he lives in now. And if he re-signs with the Devils, he doesn't even have to move at all. Um, I mean, a lot of the Rangers players, generally what I've heard is that the, the single players for the Rangers live in the city, Midtown Manhattan. And the married players are going to be in like Westchester County, and it's kind of similar with the Devils. the The single players are in Jersey City and Hoboken, and then the married players live in the really rich suburbs of like Morris and Essex County, and so on. Um, but even if he lives in Westchester County, I mean, I know it's a bit of a hike. It would be a bit of a hike for him to Prudential Center, but I mean, he's a millionaire. He could he could take it. Um, so I mean, going forward. Um, it's obvious that Ray Shear really wants to see this team end the playoff drought. And I think the experience that they could gain from being in the playoffs this year could really benefit these guys like he Shear and Brat and Hall and so on for the future. Um, even if the Devils get swept in the first round, for example, even what's going on right now is, is helping these players because, you know, a lot of these guys haven't been playing meaningful games at this point in the season or haven't been playing or at, at this level, um, Hall hasn't been, I don't think Hall has been playing meaningful games in February since he was in junior hockey. Um, if you look at Wood, last year he was a rookie, and at this point a year ago, um, we were just going for the first overall draft pick. So um, as far as Rikoff goes, it doesn't even look as though the Devils were going to um, get him to come over from the KHL. And... Um, I, I really don't have any idea how good this guy is going to be. I've heard he's a solid defenseman, and he was he did play for Russia in the World Juniors last year. But um, he's not somebody that Devil fans are super excited about. Like, oh, this guy is going to be amazing, and wait till he gets into the NHL. But at the same time, nobody said that about Jesper Bratt last year either. And look how good he's been in the NHL. Um, so, I mean, and the second-round pick the Rangers are going to have, I mean, probably about half of second-round picks end up being NHL players, so maybe that'll work out for them. Maybe it won't. Um, who knows? But I am a little bit disappointed that the Devils only have a first-round pick, and then they have no second- or third-round picks in this year's draft. Um, I don't think we should be not having any draft picks at this point in the rebuild. I think it's a little bit premature for that, if that makes sense. Um Going forward, I mean, these are my thoughts on the trade. I don't think I've really forgotten anything. Um, if you have any thoughts on this trade, I would love to hear what you think in the comment section. Um, click like if you like this video. Hit me up with a subscription if you if you want me to keep producing content. I'll be sure, since we're going down the stretch, to create more videos about this um, and about even other trades around the league. So um, take care, everybody. Ciao.